morning or good evening, people. I have something that's been on my mind for a little while now. Just as a result of hearing different theories about, about this, as well as reading the word myself, and just like a thought that I have as a result of the theories and reading myself, I've come to the conclusion of, right? And based off of stuff that I'm seeing in the media. So I'm going to talk about it real quick. Everybody remembers the film Independence Day, right? The first one had Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, and a whole bunch of other people, right? And it was basically a film about the whole world really having to come together regardless of um, nationality, all that, because some opposing outside force that is really much more smarter, much more intelligent than us was coming against our world. Well, they have another independence that is getting ready to come out. And since I've been in this walk in the truth, there are so many different things that I have learned. So many things that I've heard that, you know, I didn't know how to deal with when I first heard it because it was kind of strange to me to hear it. But for example, I've heard that, um, that chariots of the most high can actually and in fact be what a lot of us have been knowing as quote unquote UFOs, um, unidentified flying objects, right? So I've heard this theory before, I've entertained it, I've considered it. When you go and read the scripture that I believe is in Ezekiel, there is a very kind of clear picture that really does come from hearing the the him describe the image that he saw. A wheel in the middle of a wheel. It kind of, it really does, it can really make you think like, huh, could this really be what's up? So I think my point that I want to just hurry up and get to and then try to come back and just ramble or talk about whatever my theories are. I believe that the evil that is in high places in every part of the media, in every part of government, I believe that they are also aware that the Most High is coming back with his angels in quote-unquote unidentified flying objects. Um, and I believe that this is the reason that they have gone on such a huge mission to, to kind of demonize and vilify even on some levels aliens and an alien attack alien being anything foreign to our world so they have been really in a way preparing us all this time for something that the most high said he is going to do on behalf of his children and his chosen people who are being oppressed all throughout the world in every nation which is he was going to deliver them. Like he's really going to come down and deliver them. And Yeshia, Christ, is coming down for war against the nations that have enslaved his people and that have oppressed his people. This morning, based off of, I keep like, every time I cut on the television now, um, there's a one channel that I watch over here because I'm a movie buff. And so it's NBC2 and it's the movie channel. And I've been noticing that they've been show they've been promoting a whole lot of different movies that have especially Independence Day, which is again going to be talking about some alien force coming in trying to destroy the people um and that we have to band together against this particular force. There is X-Men Apocalypse, which is in my opinion really just doing nothing more than trying to 
reveal Satan and him coming out and exposing himself to the people, making it seem like he's their savior. So, so many different films that they're putting out where they're putting out their real agendas. They're putting out what they're really trying to do in this evil society, in this evil world. And I just couldn't help but somewhat get excited after a post that I've read that a brother put up and he was talking about how, you know, a lot of people just celebrated Independence Day. And by people, I know he's talking about the chosen people of God, which are blacks, Negroes, and they're not the only ones, but I'm talking directly to them right now because it is so much more clear and it should be much more clear now than ever to any black person that there is an agenda against your life, male or female, young or old People are killing you like it's nothing. It's for sport you're being killed. Just to be honest, it sucks. It hurts. It makes me mad. It makes me cry. But the Bible talks about it. I, I post scriptures all the time about it. So many other people who are awake post scriptures about it. And the awakened people that I'm referring to are the people who understand that we need to come back to the Father by keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. These are the people that, you know, I consider awake. At any rate, so many people are crying out to the rest of our black people to understand that, um, yeah, this is going to keep on happening as long as we are not, all of us, like on a major scale, seeking the Father and trying to be obedient to his laws and commandments. So many of us are crying out basically in a time where no, it seems like nobody wants to listen, even in spite of seeing these things with their eyes. I know that some of you guys who may not know about the Bible at all or who may have heard these things but don't believe it, you have to see, you have to notice that we are being killed at alarming rates. And it's not just alarming anymore, it's downright I don't even know what other words to say. It's not, it, it shouldn't be just alarming anymore. It should actually be, I don't know what other word right now to use. But anyway, our Independence Day is not here yet, but it is coming and the Bible speaks about it. And I believe that the film Independence Day back when it first came out, which I think was like in 1990 something, and this one that's coming, I think that those are really about the Independence Day of the so-called blacks and other color, people of color who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. I think that they are trying to demonize the Most High and his host of people um, or angelic beings that are going to really come and truly fight the nations of this world on behalf of his people like he said he was going to do. And... The funny thing is, or the bad thing is, is they're trying to instill fear in some type of way. And they're trying to make you black people and other colored people who are really the chosen of Israel. They're trying to make you feel like you're somehow included in America's nation or in any other nation that you've been disposed of in. But the truth is, is you're not a part of that nation. You're not a part of any nation that you were taken and you're being oppressed. You're not a part of that nation. Your nation has yet to be gathered again. And your Independence Day just so happens, I truly believe, I really believe this now. Like I woke up and I felt like the spirit talked to me and was like, you know what? This is why this is going to be your Independence Day. But they don't want you guys to know that. They want you to think that it's something bad, something to fear. I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't presume to know that whatsoever. But I do truly believe now more than ever, that the film Independence Day is really talking about how God is going to come with his heavenly host and save a very real God with a very real heavenly army that we are going to see at some point is going to come back and fight for his people. And he's not only going to fight, he's going to win and he's going to deliver his people and to take them back to where they're supposed to be. And all this time that they were making us feel like it was just aliens and someone to fear, the fear was only for them, not for us. Um, basically, that's all I really wanted to say. That's kind of where my thoughts were this morning. And I just kind of really was like, our people have been celebrating, celebrating an Independence Day that has never, absolutely never included them. It still doesn't include them. 
And I don't mean to be like this. When I tell you I'm not angry, I'm not angry whatsoever. But I also can see that this land is not our land. They've been teaching us that as well in um, history. The little bit of truth that they do give us, I mean, it's true. We're, we were slaves that were captured and brought over here. Some of us, some people, some indigenous people came over here by themselves, but not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. And they've actually told you guys this in our, they've told all of us this in our schools, in our history classes. And yet we somehow believe that we're a part of their system under a different pretense other than slavery. When in actuality, we're still slaves. We are still slaves. We are still being executed. We are still being held prisoners here. The prison houses here are filled with nothing but black people. And of course, um, other minority people like Hispanics and Latinos. Yes, some white people are in there. And I'm not, I don't hate white people. It still doesn't take away from the fact that blacks make up a large percentage of the prison population. Which is a whole nother form of slavery all in itself. Because these people don't get paid for all the work that they really do. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's a film that kind of talks about that. But I, I guess I'm going to get too far off topic and I really don't want to do that. But in a way, all of these things are connected. <laughs> and that's something that the Most High is revealing. All of this is connected. No Negroes, you're not a part of this nation. You will never be a part of this nation. It was never intended for you to ever become a part of the nation. This nation is only here to break us down. I have to say it because it's in the Bible. All the nations that we were ever sent into captivities for were only chastisements. They're to break us down. They're to cause us to get closer to the Father and to seek how to please Him. I'm going to tell you guys that from the beginning, the ways that we, our nation, the Israelites, were always supposed to please the Father was by keeping his laws and commandments. I guarantee you that hasn't changed. I, I can I have, I'm sorry if I'm too passionate. I'm sorry if it comes off as I'm fussing or something, but it, this is so real that it's not even funny how real it is. What we're supposed to be doing right now, instead of just, uh, woe is us. Another black life being taken. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so angry. I'm so hurt. I am so sad. It's not bad to experience any of those feelings. But if those feelings do not cause you to go to your Bible or go to the Most High God in prayer and ask him, God, why is this happening? If it doesn't make you want to seek his face, if it doesn't make you want to ask, what are we supposed to be doing? What am I as a person that looks like these black men and black women that are being killed at an alarming rate. What are we supposed to be doing? Because there's got to be something. No one else on the face of this earth is experiencing what we are experiencing all around the world, by the way. Not only in America. No one else is experiencing this as on a, on every level like we are. What's going on, God? Can you enlighten me? If it's not causing you to do that, then your feelings are futile. You're, you're getting upset. You're being hurt. You're posting even about it on Facebook, hashtagging these people who are dead and gone in this war that is against Jacob or Israelites. It doesn't matter, you know, not ultimately. Praise the Most High. God is a righteous God. He's a righteous judge. And he's coming back. And he is going to avenge us. He's going to avenge Alton Sterling. He's going to avenge Tamir Rice. It doesn't even matter that they were in sin when they died right now. That's not overall a big thing because a lot of us are disconnected from the father. We have no idea that we are his chosen people. We are mixed up in all types of stuff that he told us he didn't want us to be mixed up in. So this is how come I can say we were in sin, they were in sin. I don't know them personally. Nope. But I still know that Israelites as a whole, the reason why we're in the predicaments and conditions that we're in in this world as a whole was because we were in sin. Sin meaning that we weren't keeping the laws that God told us to. So I can safely say that all of these people are dying in their sin. I want to 
want to encourage somebody right now. Yeah, I had this epiphany that our Independence Day is truly coming. And I truly believe that that's what Independence Day is really about. Only they're spinning it for them. Our Independence Day is coming. God has already sworn it. He's already spoken it. They know about it. And they know that they cannot stop it. That's the truth. That is God's truth. They cannot stop what God has already set in motion to happen for them and for us. Many of the people who are perpetrating these evils in the earth, it's not just all white people. Nope. Some of it is Israelite people who have given their lives over to this satanic system and government. It's them too. Everybody who's not in line with the laws of the Most High God is going to die. <laughs> they're going to be judged for the things that they're doing. That's both in high places as well as in the common places in this world. That's number one. They're all going to die. I promise you, I'm not trying to say this to even be mean. It's just what prophecy has said. There are even Israelites. Just because we are the chosen people doesn't mean that we're going to be saved all willy-nilly. Independence Day is coming for a lot of us. It is. But those who have blatantly chosen to disobey God, who have blatantly done evil in this world, if repentance does not come, when the Father comes and his host come to wreak havoc on this evil world, if you are not lining up at all in any kind of way with the Father, you're going to fall in that destruction. But if you are seeking the Most High God's face, whether you even know how to keep the laws or not, if you're seeking the Father, he will reveal himself to you. And he will give you protection and a covering. So that when he does come back and he does start to wreak havoc on this world, you will be one that he's going to be coming back for. You're going to be one that he's going to be coming to save. There are even scriptures, and I, I have to go back and find them. There are scriptures that talk about God is going to save a lot of us just on the strength that we're his children, period. And the promises that he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob before any of us were ever born. Some of us are still going to be in sin when he saves us, but he's going to deal with our spirits. He's going to deal with us. He's going to cause some of us to finally see who the heck we are, what we were supposed to be doing all this time. And that's going to be after he save us. I don't know what category you're going to fall into. But I know for me, I would so much rather be in the category that that understands who I am and that understands that we're supposed to get back to the most high by keeping his laws, by learning them, by doing our best to obey them, not because it's mandatory, like, or it's enforced upon us, but because we love him and because we know now more than ever that we were always supposed to be keeping them and we broke our words. And that is the real reason why we're going through everything that we're going through in every place that we've been scattered. To be honest, the last thing I'm going to say, I really cannot understand how so many of us can see the killings of all the black people that are being killed. We can tell the stuff is petty. We can tell, we can see that it's like, y'all, this is something else. It's not just all these people were criminals. It's not even that all these people were resisting arrest. It's not that they were so smart mouthed that they talked back. Some people didn't even do that. And they still got murdered. Somebody can see that. For me, I don't understand. But it's not, it doesn't have to be for me to understand, you know. But I can't see how this is not causing so many black people to run to God. And I'm not talking about churches. I'm not talking about churches. Lord, I ain't talking about churches. Churches are going to be, they're going to be holding some of y'all while they ship y'all off to FEMA camps. Sorry, I'm going to start something else up if I do that, so I'm not. 
What I'm trying to say is I don't understand why it won't cause you guys or some of you, my people, to go to the Father. Go to these people who you've been seeing, been talking about this for like a long time. Why it won't cause you to go and seek out the Father? Like, God, what's going on? Will you show me? Will you show me? Because the churches aren't talking about this. Nothing more than we got to pray for the families. We got to pray for protection because the world is an evil place. Our church people don't even know. They don't even know who they are. So they can't possibly share it with you. And some of them know full well that we match the curses in the Bible, but they can't teach about it. And they don't learn about it in detail for themselves. So not all not all people. I'm only speaking on like a mass level, unfortunately. But they don't even go look into any further who the Israelites are. They believe, they believe, I'm sorry, I don't want to say this in a mean and racist way, but they believe the white people who have oppressed them all this time and told them that the white people over in the land are the Jews. They don't even fit the curses. Not only do they not fit the curses, they don't even fit the description of Yeshia, Christ, who was a Jew. Just a reminder, guys, Christ was a man who had skin like brass, but let's not stop at brass. It was like it was burnt in a furnace. Explain to me how any Jew that is for lack of a better term, called white by any other nation who can see them. Explain to me again how they could possibly be from the same tribe as the man that looked like grass that was burnt in an oven. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, I thought I was, but they don't have hair like wool either. Something doesn't line up. And I hope that at some, I hope this video might just cause somebody to be like, you know, let me go look at, let me go try to find the scripture that she's talking about. It's in Revelation somewhere. The one about Christ having feet like burnt brass. Please go look it up. Hair like wool. Go look it up. I have yet to see a Jew that's literally world recognized as a Jew have any of those traits. Can you tell me, have you seen it? This is supposed to be a good message, just so you know. A message that to the Israelite people, our true Independence Day is coming. Those who are in authority, I'm very, I believe with everything in me, are full aware of this. They are aware of who you are, which is why they are on an all out killing spree to kill you. Yep. There's a spirit that is on these cops. There's a spirit that are on the people in high places. It's called wickedness. The hand is given, um, the world is given into the hand of the wicked right now. That's why you see all these evil things happening. Yes, it's happening to white people too, but they're not the chosen people. So it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Not saying that it doesn't matter that they're being killed. That matters because you're not supposed to kill people according to the law anyway. So yes, their lives matter as far as sin is being committed against them. But I have to tell you people, you know, just like I do, that there is a weird assignment against blacks. Always has been since they've been here. Our lives have been hanging in the balance. We've been afraid for our lives really for a long time. Slavery, afraid for your life. Can't never come up. Anything good that we did was torn down. We were knocked down, then talked about because we can't succeed. We're still being murdered. We're still being imprisoned. Even though we're free. Hello, we're, we're free supposedly. Let you be caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Let somebody lie on you and say that you did this. Or that. And it just seemed like it could have been what you did. You're going to jail. Let you get a speeding ticket. You're going to go to jail. And you could be held indefinitely. 
And they'll, they don't have to tell you why they're holding you. That's coming on a, that is coming to a place near you. Some people are going to be going to jail for tickets and just being there for the remainder of their life. All because the wicked understand who you are. Only you don't know who you are. And because you don't know who you are, you don't know where your power is. You have no idea where you're supposed to go to save yourself in a way from what's happening all around you. I'm here and so many other people on Facebook are here to tell you who you are. But it seems foolish to you. It seems crazy to you. You don't understand. We Israelites, Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> For whatever reason, you don't, I'm American. I was born in Houston, Texas. Or North Carolina, South Carolina, wherever you are, put your city there. Put your place there. We have no idea who we are. We only have accepted all these years what we've been told. Even that we were only always slaves. I said I was going to be through, didn't I? All right, so I need to go ahead and hold to that word. I, don't, I just hope that something anywhere within this video has caused some thought. Not just thought, but, but it's going to choose, that's going to cause you, excuse me, to choose to act on those thoughts and try to go look up some stuff. I don't know. I don't even know. Black people... Specifically Negroes in the landmass of America. I really need you to know that you are the chosen people. You're not just, you're not African. You're not African. And I think that you should look into that as well. That's even in the Bible. That's even in the Bible. Not saying that you're not African is in the Bible, but I'm saying if you go look up, look up the, uh, this definition of, I want to say ham, look it up online or in this Bible dictionary. Look up in Bible dictionaries who ham is. Now, some dictionaries may just lie. They just might lie. But the one that I've found that has told the truth is one called the Compact Bible Dictionary. And it's by Zondervan. That's the publishing company. They clearly let us know that Negro people are not the same as Ham. And if you read your Bible, you'll understand that Ham is all the so-called African people. People like Libyans, Somalians, Egyptians. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I can't think of nobody else right now, but the point is... In the Bible, it talks about who the nations of Ham's people are. And then it talks about Shem and Japheth. I have found that we come from Shem. But the Most High is going to have to lead and guide anybody who takes it upon themselves after watching this video or and many others, hopefully, to look up into look into this and or, OK, seek God for this information. Not your pastor, because they don't know. Trust me, I was asking questions in my churches. Everyone I went to. And instead of being helped, I was labeled a troublemaker. I was told that the stuff I was learning about, that's not that important. God loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. But we're not the Israelites. We're Gentiles. That's what I learned in church, y'all. I'm sorry. That's what I learned in church. But the Bible shows me something completely different. So, all right. I just want to encourage you guys. Please, somebody look into the claims that not just me. So many other black people are waking up. So many other black people are understanding that, hey, um, Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68 seems to look awfully close to the plight of the black people. I want to encourage you to look into that. I'm going to say peace. And I'm going to say that July 4th is not our Independence Day. Our Independence Day is not here yet.
but it is coming. It's coming.